Hello, baseball card fans. Today, I have another special treat in store for you. I'm going to show you my vintage baseball cards. If you viewed my other videos, you've already seen some of these cards before. You've seen my basketball cards. You've seen my vintage sealed pack collection. You've seen the 1951 Bowman set. And you've seen some of my modern cards. As I get down towards the end of my collection, you know I like to save the best for last. So today I'm going to show you some of my vintage cards. Without further delay, let's get right into it. I usually like to do these things and, and start with the earlier cards and then go further back in time. So here are some cards from 1989. Here's a few Ken Griffey Jr. Dunruss uh, Rated Rookie cards. See, I have a few of those. Here's a, a Bowman. 89 Ken Griffey rookie, two uh, upper deck rookies, and there's a Frank Thomas Leaf rookie. This next stack here we have a Greg Maddox Fleer update, Jerry Rice rookie, Fred McGriff, Barry Bonds, his 86 tops. I think that's the Fleer. Yes. The Fleer update, rookie to those guys. We have uh, Roger Clemens. I'm a, a big Roger Clemens fan and have accumulated quite a number of his rookies over the years. There is Topps rookies, Dunruss, Fleer. And this is the 84 Fleer update, Roger Clemens. It's a great card. Hard to come by. Some Don Mattingly rookies here. Then the uh, the great 83 rookie class. There's Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, and another 20, Tony Gwynn there. We have some graded cards here. So there's a, a Barry Bonds 87 Fleer rookie, graded 9. There's a Dan Marino, 84 tops. John Elway, 84 tops. Both of those are graded 9. Here's a cool card. This is a, a 1971 Nolan Ryan, graded 7. I like that card. I, I just kind of like the picture and, it, and Nolan Ryan's stance on the mounds there. So I like that card. And here's a cool card. Uh, 62 tops manager's dream. That's uh, Mickey Mantle and, and Willie Mays on the same card from a 1962 set and I thought it was, it was pretty cool to get those two great players uh, on on card together. There's the back. Moving right along here there's Cal Ripken rookie here's uh, Ricky Henderson two of those guys Kurt Gibson rookie Andre Dawson two Ozzie Smith rookies there's a Gary Carter and a George Brett as we move our our way back in time some more raw cards that's a, a Carlton Fisk rookie there's a Reggie Jackson from 69 tops this is a cool card it's not a rookie card to Hank Aaron 1960 tops uh, I love this card this just looks like a, a true vintage baseball card uh, the, the way for me anyway the way I think about them and I think this card was actually in a, a commercial uh, in the last year or two so like that card here's another card from 1960 it's a Carly Skrimsky rookie here's a uh, it's not graded but I'm um, you know pr pretty much a, a hundred percent sure that is authentic Hank Aaron rookie And uh, it's an awesome card. And here's a, a Sandy Koufax rookie, also not graded, but a, a great card. There's the back. We're going to move up to the display case now. And some of these cards you've seen already in some of my other videos, so they're going to re be repeats. I apologize for that, but I wanted to make this a full. Uh, presentation of my vintage cards so I included them again 
This first card here is not in any of my other videos. It's a 1968 Mickey Mantle, graded 7. Followed by another card from the 1968 top set. Uh, that's Nolan Ryan's rookie, also graded 7. Here's another uh, great Hall of Fame pitcher, Steve Carlton rookie, from 1965 tops, graded 7 as well. Roger Maris rookie from 1958 tops graded pro seven. I'm not uh, too familiar with pro or who they are, but as long as the card was uh, authentic and, and looks like it's in pretty good shape, that was fine for me. It's a, a nice looking card. Here's Frank Robinson, 1957 tops rookie card. I love uh, the 1957 tops set. Great looking cards, pictures on the card, and that's graded seven. Over here to the left are some randoms. Um, here's a Joe Montana rookie from 1981 Tops, graded SGC 88. It's a nice looking card. And here's a Walter Payton rookie from 1976 Tops, graded 8. Now this card in the middle is clearly not a vintage card. It's a new card I just added to the collection. Um, I just got it recently, so I wasn't able to include it in my basketball uh, video or in my modern card video it's a 2003-2004 ultimate LeBron James uh, autograph rookie graded Gemmit 9.5 I just couldn't resist I uh, wanted to get it up on YouTube don't know when else I'll have a chance so uh, I, I put up here with my vintage cards here uh, moving down in the display case is an Ernie Banks rookie from 1954 tops that's graded 6 and this is the, the gem of my collection, my favorite card of, of my whole collection, the 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle, graded PSA 6. It's a beauty, and uh, I know you've seen it in some of my other videos, so there it is again. And here's the 1951 Bowman Willie Mays, also graded 6. Uh, love that card as well. Here's a Jackie Robinson, graded 6 from 1949 Bowman. Great card, great looking card of uh, one of the all-time great baseball players. Here's a Ted Williams. This is a new card, hasn't been in any of my other videos. It's a 1948 Leaf, Ted Williams, graded 5. The uh, One of the, the, the best, the all-time greatest hitters in all of baseball. Here's a 1938 Gaudi Joe DiMaggio, graded 5. 19... 33 Gaudy Babe Ruth, graded 4. Great looking card from the, the 1933 Gaudy set. This is a new card. It's, uh, it's a Babe Ruth. I don't know much about this card. I'm just going to read from the slab here. It says 1921 W516-2-1, number 10 Babe Ruth, and it's graded SGC 40. I don't know much about it, but it's uh, certainly Babe Ruth. Um... It's a, a cool looking card from 1921, so it's an earlier Ruth card. And here, last but certainly not least, is my Cy Young uh, tobacco card, graded 5. Beautiful card with lots of eye appeal. So, there you have it. Those are my vintage cards. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching them. I enjoyed showing them. If Again, if you like my video, please uh, leave a, a 5 star rating and leave a comment. As you know, I love dialoguing with people on YouTube. Leave a comment, send me an email, I try to respond to all of them, and uh, thanks for watching.